easing discrimination in, in Milwaukee is something that's going to be very difficult. Uh, what happens is, is if you study uh, the history of, of the world and you look at people throughout history uh, that have oppressed other people, they've oppressed other people for a very specific reason because it provides benefits for that community versus the other community. So when you live in a society where you are a part of that dominant society where this discrimination against people outside of your community benefits you in some way, shape, or form, you don't want to give up those benefits. You want to maintain that sense of, of how things used to be. This is why you hear people uh, talking about taking back America, because they believe that some of these changes that have taken place in terms of civil rights laws and, and things of that nature, affirmative action, have somehow taken some of these things away from the dominant culture. And so discrimination is a technique that's used to prevent people from getting something that you have. So here's an example. Uh, people who discriminate in housing. People want to live wherever they want to live, but they want their community to be all white. So what they do is they discriminate by writing restrictive covenants which say we're not going to allow blacks or Jews to move into this particular neighborhood. We're not going to sell to them. We're not going to rent to them. And so that discrimination provides that community maintaining what it was all the time before, which is all white. So discrimination isn't something that's done accidentally. Uh, people try to talk about uh, you know, unconscious bias and people don't recognize what they're doing in many cases. But I, I, I have to say I disagree with that because I think that people do things very intentionally. Uh, public policies are very intentional acts. Uh, even though they, they may have this, this kind of colorblind look to them, the impact of them are certainly not colorblind. And so when we talk about easing discrimination in Milwaukee, I think that, that we have to honestly look at at the laws that are in place to protect people from discrimination and enforce those laws uh, the way that they're supposed to be enforced. And in addition to that, educating people uh, about things that they do that are discriminatory, uh, that are against the law, that they may not recognize these things are against the law. Uh, I'll give you an example of, of someone I know personally. Uh, they attempted to move into an apartment. This is a, a black family, attempted to move into an apartment on the south side. And the person who was renting the place told them that, no, you know, it's, it's not for rent anymore. Uh, someone's moving in already. Uh, and they found out that this was a complete lie. And they ended up uh, asking him, well, why, why can't we move in? And he says, well, at first he says, well, you know, it's been rented. And then a week later he said, well, no, it hasn't been rented, but we don't allow children in, in this apartment building, so on and so forth. So they found out that he was lying, and, and he didn't know that that was discriminatory. You can't discriminate against people. You can't say that we can't allow you to move into this apartment building because you have children. And so they ended up hiring an attorney and, and it worked for them in that way. So to me, easing discrimination, it, it comes in two different ways. It comes from people fighting discrimination when it happens instead of just allowing it to happen and saying, well, you know, that's just the way it is. Fighting against it is very important. And also educating people about what is and is not discrimination in terms of from a legal standpoint. And I think that even with those two things in place, that it's still going to be a battle that is fought continuously because, like I said, discriminatory practices are to the benefit of the dominant culture. And as long as the dominant culture wants to have things a particular way, they will continue to discriminate against people to maintain things in the status quo uh, that they prefer.